Hello students, Sairam. Let's continue with chapter 5, Understanding Elementary Shapes. In today's session, we are going to learn more about the angles and then we will proceed to solve the problems of exercise 5.2. Children, look at these pictures. Here you can see the angles formed by two hands of a um, clock or two arms of a divider and also by two blades of a scissor. So what is an angle? An angle is a figure formed by two rays with the same initial point or we can also say that when two rays meet at a point they form an angle. Here we can see an angle AOB okay, and or uh, this angle can also be called BOA and the two arms of the angle they are OA and AOB where they are meeting they are meeting at point O. So, point O is called the vertex of the angle. This is called the vertex of the angle where the angle is actually formed. Now, let us learn more about right angles, straight angles and complete angles. Children, you know the what are the four main directions? They are north, south, east and west. So, children, uh, if you are facing north and if you uh, move in clockwise direction and if you reach east, then we can say that you have turned through one right angle. And similarly, from east, if you move in uh, a clockwise direction and reach south, then we say that you moved to another through another right angle. So, then uh, we can see uh, by a right angle turn clockwise we uh, from north to east we reach and uh, by another right angle turn we face south from east to south. So, what is the measure of a right angle? The measure of a right angle is 90 degree. Now children when we move from north to east north to east we have taken one 90 degree turn or right angle turn ok. This is east and from east to south we have taken another 90 degree turn ok. So, this angle from north to south this is 180 degree angle and this is a straight line. And this angle is called straight angle. Similarly, when we move from south to west, this is west, when we move from south to west in clockwise direction, here one right angle is formed and from west to north when we move, another right angle is formed. That means to move from south to north, again we move through 180 degree angle which is a straight line. So, the 180 degree angle is a straight angle ok. Now, what is a complete angle? A complete angle is one revolution or it is equal to two straight angles or four right angles. Children suppose we move from north to south uh, north to east ok. Uh, if we move from north to east then we move through a right angle then from east to south we move another, through another right angle then from south to west we move through another right angle and from west to north if we move in clockwise direction another right angle that means total 4 right angles we are moving through to reach from north to again north. So, here we have taken one complete revolution or one complete angle is formed. So, we have uh, moved through uh, we can say 4 right angles or 2 straight angles. Uh, so, what will be the measure of uh, the complete angle or one revolution it will be 360 degree. 
So, we have shown here that uh, in a clock also when the clock hand moves from 12 and in a clockwise direction again it comes back to 12, it has taken one complete revolution or formed one complete angle which is 360 degree. So, hands of a clock also so, show uh, the uh, angles, uh, the right angle, complete angle and uh, straight angle. So, when a hand of uh, our hand of a clock moves from 12 to 6, that means it moves through half uh, of a revolution or it forms two right angles that means uh, 180 degree angle 12 to 6 which is a straight line. And from 6 to 9 in the second example if the clock hand moves from 6 to 9 here then it uh, completes one fourth of a revolution or 90 degree angle it forms. And if the clock hand moves from 1 to 10 that means it has completed 3 4 of a revolution or it has moved through 3 right angles. All right. Now, based on this learning let us solve the problems of exercise 5.2. Let us see the first question. What fraction of a clockwise revolution does the hour hand of a clock turns through when it goes from 3 to 9? So, we have to tell what fraction of revolution is completed when the clock hand moves from 3 to 9. So, we can see here also that from 3 to 9 a straight angle is formed, a straight angle is 180 degree angle or it has it, it is 2 right angles ok. That means when a hour hand goes from 3 to 9 clockwise it moves through 2 right angles or 180 degree and 180 degree what fraction it is of a revolution? It is 180 degree uh, upon 360 that means it is half of a revolution. Now B 4 to 7 we can see here in this that when the clock hand moves from 4 to 7 that means one right angle it forms that means 190 degree angle is formed and what fraction is 90 degree of one revolution? It is 90 upon 360 that means it is one fourth of a revolution. Similarly, C 7 to 10 when our hand goes from 7 to 10 clockwise direction it will rotate by 90 degree or a right angle and 90 degree angle what fraction it is of a revolution? It is 90 upon 360 that means one fourth of a complete revolution it is one fourth of a revolution. Now D 12 to 9 that means when the hour hand goes from 12 to 9 clockwise it rotates by 3 right angles or by 270 degree. Can you see here it moves through uh, 3 right angles or 270 degree and what fraction is 270 degree of uh, one complete revolution? Uh, it can be found by uh, taking 270 upon 360 that means it is 3 fourth of a complete revolution. And E 1 to 10 when our hand goes from 1 to 10 in clockwise direction uh, it will rotate by 3 right angles or 270 degree and what fraction it is of a revolution? It is 270 upon 360 that means it is 3 fourth of a revolution. Question number 2, where will the hand of a clock stop if it starts at 12 and makes half of a revolution clockwise? That means here the uh, rev revolution is told and we have to tell where the hour hand reaches. So, uh, if the uh, if it starts at 12 and takes half revolution where will it reach? It will rotate by 180 degree 
okay half revolution means 180 degree so it will stop at 6 6 o'clock b if the our hand starts at 2 and makes half of revolution clockwise where will it reach so ta to take one uh, uh, half revolution our hand will rotate by 180 degree okay or a straight angle and where will it stop it will stop at 8 okay 8 forms a straight angle with 2 okay that means 2 it takes uh, it will rotate by 2 right angles or 180 degree and it will stop at 8 o'clock c it starts at 5 and makes one fourth of a revolution clockwise one fourth of a revolution means it is 90 degree angle okay to so to take uh, make 100 uh, one fourth of a revolution our hand will rotate by 90 degree so where will it stop from 5 it will move 90 degree through 90 degree angle and it will stop at 8 o'clock D it starts at 5 and makes 3 fourth of a revolution clockwise. So to make 3 fourth of a revolution our hand will move through 270 degree angle or it will move through 3 right angles. So where will it stop? It will stop at from here it starts it will stop at 2 o'clock. Okay? Now next problem is which direction will you face if you start facing east and make half of a revolution clockwise. So similar type of question if you are facing uh, east and take half of a revolution clockwise. Half revolution means what? 180 degree angle straight angle. Okay. So if we start facing east and make half revolution we will face the opposite direction that is west direction. B if you are facing east and making one and half of a revolution clockwise. So here we have to understand that one and half uh, revolution means one complete revolution that means 360 degree angle and another half revolution that means 180 degree angle. So if you are sta uh, starting here at east okay so if you take one complete revolution again you will come back to east okay and one more half revolution that means from east to west is another half revolution so here you will complete the uh, one and a half revolution and so you will reach west direction you will face west direction see if you are facing west and making three fourth of a revolution anti-clockwise here you have to move anti-clockwise direction. So if we are facing west and here and take 3 4 revolution anti-clockwise that means we have to move in this direction and uh, 3 fourth of revolution means 3 uh, right angles we have to move that means where you are going to reach you are going to face the north direction. Now. Question number 4, what part of a revolution have you turned through if you stand facing east and turn clockwise to face north? That means if you are facing east and if you are turning clockwise and uh, you come to face north, how much of revolution, you, what revolution you have taken? You have taken 3 fourth of a revolution, isn't it? You have taken you have taken uh, three turns of right angles from east to south uh, and from south to west and from uh, west to north. That means you have taken three turns of right angles or you have taken three fourth of a revolution. If you are facing south and turn clockwise to face east. So if we start facing towards south, if you are facing south and uh, if you take uh, turn towards to face the east that means how many uh, what part of revolution you have taken. So you have turned through 3 right angles again or you have taken 3 fourth of the revolution. And C if you are facing west and turn clockwise to face east that means if you are here 
at uh, in west and you turn to face east means what part of revolution you have taken you, uh, you have turned through 180 degree angle or straight angle that means you have taken half of the revolution children so with this uh, question we come to the end of the session we will solve more and uh, understand more topics in our coming session till then bye